right, hey, what's going on, guys? How do you do? It's your boy Gray here. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we got another episode here of a weapon blueprint mission guide. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Steel Curtain. This is part of the Warrior's Code mission. You guys can access it in the mission section. I'll show you exactly where that is. And I'm going to show you in today's video a little bit of a mission guide, the fastest and easiest way to complete this mission. You get this legendary AK-47 blueprint the uh, steel curtain before we get into it real quick if you guys are brand new around here i do upload videos every single day don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on notifications drop a like a lot of tips and tricks videos update videos taking a look at weapons class setups all that good stuff subscribe drop a like all that good stuff thank you so much you guys let's get into this all right so if you go into the barracks tab in multiplayer you guys can see the missions and challenges right there select that and towards the bottom area here, you guys can see the Warriors Code. This is a free mission. Anybody who has this game can tr can go for this, uh, get the reward as well. Uh, the Warriors Code, you got to complete each objective one at a time. So you can't, for example, you can't complete objective five without completing objective four, three, two, and one. You have to do them in order. So for the Warriors Code, you have 12 objectives. I'm going to walk you guys through it the easiest way and the fastest way to complete these objectives one at a time let's get into this right, first up here guys first objective we have get two public wins now the easiest way in my personal opinion first one you can play team deathmatch you see in team deathmatch it's it's a team based game it's whoever gets the most kills uh either by the end of the time limit or the, the kill limit uh, so you guys can either go through it like that play team deathmatch and you know just hopefully get a win it's a fast game mode so i mean tdm lasts about anywhere between four or five minutes if it doesn't go to time limit lately a lot of these tdms have been going to time limit of about i believe the time limit is uh 10 minutes i think but that's that's just because this game is bullshit the other easiest way to complete this here two public wins like you actually need to win is by going into gunfight a lot of people don't know you can actually play gunfight and that's the 2v2 mode and if you have a good partner, you have a good, a decent team, you can actually beat people, get two wins. Pretty simple. All right, objective number two, get 75 kills. In my personal opinion, now that we do have this in the playlist, in the rotation, I would highly recommend go into Shoot House 24-7. Whether you get Kill Confirm, Domination, Team Deathmatch, uh, Headquarters, all great game modes, all Shoot House, fast-paced action. I uh, highly recommend going to that, man. Uh, or if you guys don't want to go to Shoe House, Domination is good. Headquarters is good as well. Right, objective number three, get five headshots in Team Deathmatch. Now, this doesn't specifically say it necessarily needs to be Team Deathmatch or Hardcore Team Deathmatch. I can just tell you from what I did. I went just regular core Team Deathmatch. Uh, and like it says, I was just basically going, I was gunning for the heads, man. So get five headshots. Once you complete that, you can back out of the game. You can finish the match if you want. Uh, but you would, you would officially completed it once you get five headshots. Next objective here is uh, objective number four, get 20 kills with equipment. Now this includes claymores, uh, grenades, uh, proximity mines, stuff like that. You guys know the equipment. I don't have to go through each one. Uh, get 20 kills with equipment. I would highly recommend once again, shoot house 24 seven, especially if you get something like headquarters. Headquarters is a great game mode to uh, get objective kills because a lot of times the enemy is specifically in one area. Domination is good as well. Kill confirm can work as uh, like pretty good also. You no, know, I completed it pretty fast just by playing uh, shoot house 24 seven and I got domination, headquarters, kill confirm all great game modes to to basically get this objective done all right, up next objective number five you got to capture 20 flags in ground war i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a it's a little bit of a cheat code here now i don't recommend you do this i didn't i personally didn't do this the only reason why i found out you could do this is because i kind of rage quit out of a game uh but if you go into a ground war game and let's say it's at the very start you can go in, the game starts, you capture the nearest flag. So that's one flag right there. And then you head to the closest one after that. So easily, right off the back, right off the rip, you get two flags, easily. Me personally, I would recommend you guys stay in the game and just keep that objective in mind. Just stay in whatever ground war map you're in and keep a lookout on your surrounding. It usually tells you when, you're, when your teammates are about to cap a flag or when they're trying to capture a flag. And if you can make it to that flag in time, you don't even have to do a lot of work. As long as you get into that flag before it gets capped, um, and you're you're there when it gets capped, you get the you get the, basically the points uh, or the uh, the capture, if you will, uh, of the uh, flag. The cheat code I was talking about is if you really want, you could do what I said at the start. Like if you join a fresh game, you can capture flag one and flag two. Uh, and if you could get a third flag, by all means, go for it. 
And then once you capture your first three flags at the very start of the game, you can actually back out. And yeah, you can you can just yeah, you continuously do that over and over. Like go into a new match. If you hopefully get a new match, you can just capture the first two flags, three flags if you can. Back out. It still counts. You still get the uh, the capture, if you will. Uh, and it does save. So it's not like you need to finish the match in order to get the capture. You know, like, no. Nah, as long as you get the capture, it counts. All right, next objective here, guys. We got objective six. Uh, get 20 point blank kills. Pretty simple. Um, point blank kills. I would recommend doing it with the uh, shotgun, the 725 shotgun. The model shotgun is good as well. Uh, something that'll just give you that one instant shot. And for the most part, 725 and the model are great for that. And once again, if I had to make a recommendation, once again, man, the shoot house 24 seven is great for this. You can really get really close up to people and just blast them and get that point blank. You do need to get that point blank though. So that you gotta be like literally right in front of you uh, for the most part. It can't like if they're a couple feet away and you feel like you're close enough, that might not count. You literally, if you could sneak up right onto them and shoot them that's the best thing to do but dead silence sneak up on people camping or somebody just sneak up on them using dead silence uh easiest way to get the 20 uh point blank kills shoot house 24 7 i would recommend that right, next up we have objective number seven you got to get five wins in any objective mode now this one is a little bit glitched i don't know if it's been fixed from the time that i completed it i tried uh domination it didn't work i tried headquarters it didn't work i tried search and destroy and search and destroy is the only game mode even though it says any objective game mode search and destroy is the only game mode that basically gives you the points i'm not gonna lie to you guys if i i didn't have anybody to play with i was just playing with random people this objective took me a while mainly because it had to be in search and destroy i was playing with random players who really didn't really care too much about the objective or getting the win so this one did take me a while but the easiest way and the fastest way and apparently in my case and a lot of people and a lot of other people's cases uh the only way to get this objective done is by playing search and destroy so if you got a great team some some friends you can run with in snd by all means go for it and if not you're just gonna have to jump in with some randoms and hopefully they're good players all right next next one here guys get 25 kills with kill streaks i'm going to show you guys a little bit of a trick here so for this objective here guys i would highly recommend go into shoot house 24 7 honestly the easiest way to get the a lot of these done is shoot house 24 7 if not all of them done shoot house 24 7 here guys and what you want to do first things first you want to put on hard line now what that allow you to do is that it'll it'll require you to get one less kill for example if you want to put the shield turret it's three kills with hard line it's two kills uh so what you want to do is put on hard line as a perk number two once you have that on there guys with the, the kill streaks that i recommend shield turret if placed in the easiest one to get two kills uh and you instantly get the shield turret if you place it in the right spot you can get multiple kills and because it's two kills even if you die just get two more kills uh, back to back and you'll be able to place another one so multiples multiple shield turrets really easy to get on top of that guys highly recommend something like the uh, cruise missile might be a little bit difficult to control i know i'm not a big fan of the cruise missile because it doesn't have like a slowdown feature it's just either fast or normal mode but it is sometimes a little difficult to get but in a map like kill house i'm sorry shoot house uh cruise missile works really well now if you can really manage to get your seven kills in a row highly recommend the wilson especially once again like i said uh in a map like shoot house the wilson uh it puts in work and and in my personal opinion uh the wilson the uh cruise missile and the shield turret is the way to go to uh, to basically complete this objective really fast in shoot house all right objective number nine get 40 kills using your secondary weapon with your secondary weapon now this one here a lot of you guys might try to be slick and you might try to throw on overkill uh with like a shotgun or or smg with the smg shotgun or something like that it says secondary weapon and what they basically mean is like they said a secondary weapon so the easiest way that i found to basically do this is with the desert eagle the deagle the, the 50 cal the point 50 cal uh easiest way right there i mean that, that weapon is a is a one to two shot at most just go into shoot house you can dominate with that thing really easily e easily get this done in about two or three games um and if once again if you don't have the deagle unlocked at this point maybe maybe the magnum the magnum is really good as well uh any pistol any launcher as well would work completely up to you guys next one here guys uh objective 10 uh you got to get 10 long shot kills this one was actually i thought this one was going to take me a while to do but this one was really easy all i did was i put on the hdr sniper rifle and I went into ground war and one of the best ground war maps for this is a map that I'm not even a big fan of is the uh, Tarvis district the one with the towers 
Got it done. And I got I got it done in about five minutes in Tarvis District, man. It's such an easy way to get it. Uh, if you have the attachments, attach all of these attachments that will extend the range and the damage for the HDR, even though it doesn't really need it. Uh, but the Tarvis District map, even Karst and the new one as well, any ground war map, you can get these long shot kills easily using a sniper rifle in ground war. Objective number 11, pretty simple here. Get five wins in gunfight. Grab somebody that you know is a beast of a player, a really good player, jump into gunfight. You need to get five wins. I got mine done with uh, Ripley. And me and her, we rocked it in about 30, not even if, if even that, 30 minutes. Uh, got it done really fast. Last but certainly not least here, ladies and gentlemen, objective number 12, uh, win 10 public matches. Once again, you need to win it. In my personal opinion, go for it. The fastest one that I would recommend if you have a really good player with you is a gunfight because you can dominate it. You can go, go through the rounds easily and it does count. So public matches, gunfight mode, if you have a really good player with you, I would recommend uh, team deathmatch as well. Team deathmatch, those matches go faster than any other game mode. Uh, so I would recommend TDM. Uh, and once again, shoot house 24 seven. It's shoot house, it's madness, it's chaotic. And yeah, it's completely up to you guys. But in my personal opinion, TDM or uh, gunfight mode are the two best ones to complete this objective. And that's about it right there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this little weapon guide. Quick video here just to explain to, you, to everybody how to get this done. You get the Steel Curtain Legendary Blueprint for the AK-47. Really nice looking variant. Uh, I just, I really enjoy it, man. Especially now that I'm working on AK-47. I'd rather have this than work on an AK-47 with no attachment. So a lot of fun to use out in the field. And uh, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the information, all that good stuff. Let me know if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this weapon guide number two. Uh, we're going to have another episode coming in the near future. Be on the lookout for more. Uh, and yeah, any feedback would be great. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm going to back out of here. Till the next one. My name is Gray. Peace.